Cadillac and beans. Yes. Houston, Texas. Cadillac and beans. Y'all, it's your girl Lala. Welcome to Lala's World. I'm sitting here with recording artist Jay Pinjell. What's going down? What's going on, people? I'm doing good. Blessed to be here. Uh, you know, it's been a long time coming just to, you know, get an interview with Miss Lala. You know, been, uh, been a big fan, been a big fan. You know, yes. it's a pleasure to be here with you doing this underground segment. Yes, always showing love. Finally, yes. we got him on Lala's World. So. Definitely. We got a lot to talk about, and I call you recording artist because you do a little bit of everything, right? So tell me a little bit of the flavor of music you got. Okay, well, you know, the flavor of music is just, it's well-rounded, you know? Uh, I do hip-hop, I do R&B, and I'm, I'm, you know, I got a, I got an edge on pop, but it's like I, I like to mix it all together, you know, rap scene, and just, you know, sometimes blend it all together. Yeah. Versatile, that's, that's, that's my style, that's how I like to get down. So you're originally from Houston? Yes, I was born and raised, you know, Jeff Davis Hospital, you know. Uh, yeah, I was born there. I was born here in Houston. Uh, born here in Houston, raised in the spring, uh, in spring in the Burnham Woods subdivision. Those y'all familiar up there on the north side, uh, the far north side, you know, greater Houston area though. Lived here uh, uh, 18 years of my life and then uh, went straight to the military after uh, high school, you know, so. But music has always been one of my, you know, one of my things that I've always enjoyed doing, you know. It was it was just singing in the church with my grandmother growing up. Uh, so you were you in know, the music since you were little? The music, the music has always been there in my family, you know. It was from listening to my mom singing and trying to imitate what she does and then just listening to Magic 102 way before it was, you know, even when Hatter was working at 102 Jams way back then. <laughs> and I was just, you know, a little shorty, but I was listening to all that. And, I mean, it was just like music was always... It was something that always, you know, brought my family together because, you know, I grew up with, with, you know, three brothers and one sister and it was kind of like we always would, you know, take the take my mama's hot comb or take a brush or something and pretend like we, we had it, you know, playing Michael Jackson in the living room on that old record, on that, you know. <laughs> but that, that's how we were, you know, growing up and, and you know, the, the, the talent, you know, I just took it to the next level, really, really took it serious after a while once I got older. Well, I know that uh, you told me you've done some stuff with Duro. Shout out to Duro from Dallas. What's so up, homie? Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, well, I know, I've known Duro. Duro's a real, real close friend of mine. We've been, we've been, like, involved with the music since, well, I met Duro. He was already on it. I was on it as well, moving back from Atlanta, coming back to Houston to try to get something off the ground. It was like, I needed somewhere to record. He was out there at phase two, Preview A and M. Shout out to PV as well. Um, he was there. I took a long drive. I was staying at my mom's house in Spring, Texas. Shout out to Spring. I used to live in Spring and Woodlands. <laughs> I used to move downtown. So Shout out to everybody. To Spring, Woodlands, <laughs> Tumbaugh, all y'all up there in that north area, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I took a long drive. Took 2920. Went straight out there to PV and uh, got it in phase two. And he was charging ten dollars and ten dollars an hour. And normally, I guess he was, you know, used to having artists coming in at $10 an hour. And it's like, all right, maybe he's going to have somebody there for three hours. That's a quick 30. Maybe yeah. five hours is a quick 50 to do one song. But with me, I came with three songs ready, and I got them done in less than an hour. And he kind of just looked at me like, I'm, I gave me $10. He gave it back. <laughs> so it's kind of like, all right, well... After a while, it was like I kept making that trip because I was, that was, you know, a difference between, you know, budgeting gas money and $10 an hour. You ain't gonna find studio time that cheap. You know? That's the best quality sound, everything. So, I mean, it was worth the trip driving all the way out there 45 minutes just to get it done. Um, going out there and getting it done so quickly, though, was what was blowing a lot of people's mind. And, you know, at this time, at that time, primetime click was there, you know, the whole primetime click, which is under Ingenious Entertainment with uh, DJ Murd and DeRoe Music as well. They were all there. They were hearing the music that I was bringing out. So they saying, you know, I was up there making hooks for people. And that's kind of how I got my, that's kind of how I got, you know, known for. That's what I was known for was making those hooks, those quick, 
not so simple but catchy hooks. Yeah. Something that was guaranteed to make a hit, you know, something make something just pop. And I was able to, you know, after that, the Rose success took off and he was coming down here doing shows. He was up in Dallas, Austin. He was moving all over. And he I was tagging along. Um, it came to the point where I ended up getting on the album. He asked me, do I want to be on the album? I don't know why he asked me that for because you know, uh, it's an album, you know, he was signed with Koch Records at the time, man. That's what I'm trying to get to where he's at. You know, that's my dog, so, you know, he booked me a flight, flew me up to Dallas. DJ Merck picked me up, shot the DJ Merck. Um, yeah, he's a uh, hustle squad DJs, you know. He, he picked me up, took me to the studio, Session Works out in Fort Worth, shot the Jeff Mount, who got me in the lab and did everything. Pretty much the song that, that made the album was called called uh, Peace and Chain Swing, um, featuring myself and Slim Thug, shot to Slim Thug. Um, originally, it was just me and him on the song, me and DeRoe on the song. The song came out, and uh, they sent it to Slim Thug, Slim Thug put his verse on, and next thing you know, it was just out there. Made the album, and uh, you know, they gave me a lot of props on the album as well, as far as being a being a vocalist. And so what are some new things that people can look forward to? Um well, I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of new uh new producers that have that I've been involved with. You know, I got uh FM I got FM producer who's giving me some beats uh, that we've been working on. Got a new song out of the streets that's, that's pretty pretty hot right now. We we kinda got things going back in uh back in the springtime with this song called What They Talking About. And that, that consists of uh, Major from CertifiedEmpire.com. Shout out to Major. Um, my brother left guns, and uh, hopefully we'll get him on this show pretty soon. Um, he's, he's also an upcoming rapper as well. We also have Ringo from Limelight. And uh, y'all y'all check out that uh, Life in My Environment, which is in stores now. You can also download that. But we all collab together. All of us are from Spring Texas. So when it came to us, I got I said, I want to come up with a song because I had an opportunity to do a video shoot. And with FM being able to do something, you know, so, so he's like real good with the keys and everything. And I had an idea on the sound that I wanted. We came up with it and I was able to write the hook within 15 minutes. Then I recorded it. The song came out. The, the hook was ready. Everybody else came in a week later with their verses. The song was done. So. It, it worked out real good. I was I was actually impressed that it happened so fast. Then the video, you know, the video was, was a real good success. Other producers, uh, platinum producer, too much. I can't leave him out. He uh, produced Ice Cream Paint Job, which is you know over a million over a million copies sold or downloaded, so to speak. So I mean that's that's a real good look. Um, I got a lot of beats. Oh yeah, George Young at Homestead, definitely. That's that's one of my next my next rapper slash producers that I that I mess with on a daily basis. So, yes. well, um, so for people who are watching and maybe haven't heard about you or heard about your music, uh, do you have somewhere they can go to check you out? Oh, definitely. Um, well, for starters, myspace.com backslash jpenjail. Uh, that's backslash j p e n j a i l. And uh, you can also check me out on Twitter. Uh, you know, follow me on Twitter. Um, that's uh, jpenjail713. You can also catch me at... Uh, I mean, I, I do it all. I mean, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. So, you know... You're going to be uploaded on your YouTube channel too, right? So uh, you can check out your Yes, website. yes, definitely. Jpen713. JPen but practically, pretty much if you Google me, you're going to see you're gonna see everything there. Yeah. So... They, they got all my connections there. You just Google the name Jake and Jill, you'll see something, or you probably run into a video. You have a lot going on. You worked with a lot of people, <laughs> and, you know, it sounds like you've got a lot of new things coming out, too. So yeah. everybody stay tuned, Jake and Jill. And, uh, Thank you for serving us also in the military. I think that's awesome that you came from the military and now you're in the music. And yes, yes. I'm sure you got big things coming out. Yes. So. Shout out to everybody in the United States Marine Corps, everybody yeah. back at Camp Lejeune, Camp Pendleton. And, uh, you know, 
keep, keep fighting, keep serving our country, and uh, God bless you. Yeah, I love Marines, sex and Marines anyway. So. <laughs> but, um, all right, well, everybody keep in touch. JPinJail713 is your Twitter, right? That's right, JPinJail713. Make sure you all follow him on there. I'm sure you update all the things you got going on, things you're doing. So keep an eye out. He's riding up the ladder, and now you're going to be up there and be like, damn, it's pretty hard to get a hold of you. So. Oh, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that type of change. <laughs> Shoot me if I'm wrong. <laughs> See you side here first on La La's World Underground Interview with your boy recording artist Jay Penn. Make sure y'all check him out. Follow him. Follow me at that girl La La. We always got updates on the show. Uh, stay tuned for season three. Any underground artists, music producers that want to get on, make sure y'all hit us up. Uh, follow at Certified Empire. That's my boy who also helps me, you know, get things together like this for you guys. So uh, we show a lot of love to each other. Gotta stick together, you know. Yes, sir. Uh, underground all the way up. Yeah. So make sure y'all hit us up and uh, we're out of here. Peace. Peace. No lie, can't deny, I adore you, girl. Words can't explain the love I had for you, girl. If you ain't down to mess around, oh well, nice to know you, girl. I ain't tripping as long as I gave it a shot. Girl, you hot, and the mother girls is not. It's